Welcome to Microsoft Office Review 2, Word Document Setup Basics, Working with Breaks. When creating long documents, such as research papers, business reports, corporate handbooks, and others, you'll have several elements to set up. In this video, we're going to concentrate on page breaks and section breaks to make sure that your document is polished and professional. We're looking at a partial document downloaded from the Gutenberg Project at gutenberg.org. For this lesson, I've selected the Pennsylvania Dutch Cooking Cookbook accessed from Project Gutenberg at gutenberg.org, Pennsylvania Dutch Cooking by Unknown, Free Ebook 2008. I've also edited the document to make an abbreviated version since the original document before editing was 69 pages. You can, however, choose to download the whole book for free. Our assignment is to get this book ready for printing. We see that there are no sections, no page numbers, no table of contents. It may look daunting, but it's easy. Let's get started. We'll start by changing our margins. We want to make sure that our margins are book ready. So we'll select the Layout tab, select Margins, and since this is going to be for a book, we'll select Mirrored so that the inside margin is 1.25 and the outside margin on whatever page is always one inch. The font for this book looks very old school. When we select the Home Ribbon tab, we see that the font is sent to Courier New 10 points. We want the default normal font to be Arial 12 points. To do this, we're going to right click on the normal style and select Modify. Select the Courier New and scroll down until we find Arial and select. Next, we'll change the points to 12 and select OK. We want to make the first seven lines the title page. We want the title page to be centered, but we'll worry about that after we've made all of our sections. What we do not want to do is to add a lot of hard paragraph returns by continually selecting the Enter or Return key on the keyboard. We want the computer to do the work for us. We want a section break after the word cooking because this section here, the title page, is all by itself. It's going to have a page of its own, but it's also going to have a different style page numbers, which we'll get to in another video. To create a new section break and put everything else on a new page, we're going to select the Layout tab, select Breaks, and then we'll select Next Page, Insert a Section Break, and start the new section on the next page. If we go back to the Home tab and select our Show and Hide Paragraph Symbols, we can see where the computer sees to do the section break. This is where we also see all the hard returns. So if we had gone to the next page using all hard returns, this space would have just been filled with these paragraph marks, and that's not right. We'll turn those off for now. And we see that the next section of the cookbook is the preface. It's very interesting to read, but it should be separate from the sections with the recipes. The preface will have a different style set for the page numbers. So we want to make sure that it is separate from the title page and from the rest of the recipes. So we'll put our cursor after the words wonderful good and we want a new section on the next page. 
So we select Layout, Breaks, Next Page. You'll want to remove any extra character spaces and we'll come back and do some other formatting later. This part where it says Pennsylvania Dutch Salads is actually a title page for a chapter. So chapter title pages normally are on a page by themselves and have a totally different page numbering scheme. So we're going to select after any chapter title a next page section break. So as we scroll down through we find that our next section is Pennsylvania Dutch Soups. Again, we'll want this on a completely separate page. So we not only have to put a section break after the word salad, but we'll also put that next page section break after the word soups. And we'll repeat the same process for main dishes and for desserts. We'll scroll back up to the beginning of our recipes. And we see that our first recipe is for fruit salads. In this particular assignment, we're going to make sure that all of our recipes are on a page of their own. So we see that the next recipe is a beet and apple salad. We can create a new page break, not a section break, because everything within here are going to have the same page numbers and they all relate to each other, salads. So we're going to do a page break. We can do that either from behind the words whipping cream or in front of the word beet. And we're going to select breaks and um, next page. And when we turn our paragraph marks on, remember home, paragraph marks, we can see that it's a page break, not a section break. There's another way of doing that. When we get to the end of beet and apple salad and start a good Pennsylvania Dutch salad dressing, we can use our control key plus our enter key as a way to create a page break. And we see when we turn our paragraph marks on that yes indeed control enter also gives us a page break. Now we're going to complete all of the different recipes in the salad section and throughout the rest of the book. When you're done with all the page breaks and section breaks, you'll continue on to the next video for polishing the document. But at this point, you've done all your page breaks, all your section breaks. You should now have 35 pages in the booklet. Save the work, submit your assignment, and go on to the next video.